Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be looking into implementation of interpolation search algorithm at a glance. Before proceeding, I will recommend you to watch the previous video in which I have explained the interpolation search algorithm in detail with an example. Now let's have a quick recap of the algorithm. So the first step we need to declare the first element's position as low and the last element's position as high. Next we need to compute the interpolation element's position with the formula which is displayed on the screen. Now we need to compare the element which is present on the interpolation position with the element to be searched. If both of them are equal then just return the interpolation element's position and stop because the element is found. If the element to be searched is greater than the element which is present on the interpolation position then just set low as interpolation plus 1. Now in the other case if the element to be searched is lesser than the element which is located on the interpolation position then we need to set high as interpolation minus 1. Finally we will find the location of the element to be searched. Now let's see how to implement interpolation search algorithm in python language from scratch. Now first I will be defining a function named interpolation search which will take two parameters. First is the array in which we need to find the element. Second parameter will be the element which we need to search inside the array. Now as said that interpolation search algorithm only works on the sorted data. So here I have taken an array which is sorted. If you have any array which is unsorted then if you want to sort it then you can check out my entire playlist of sorting in which I have explained all the important algorithms of how to sort an unsorted data. Now moving forward with the logic of the algorithm. First step is to define the low and high position value. So as per the array the low position will be 0 because the first element's position starts from 0th index. And the high position can be computed by the formula length of the array minus 1. Length of the array would give the entire count of the elements which are present inside the array and we are subtracting it by 1 because the array indices starts from 0th index. Now next I have used a while loop which checks the condition whether the low is less than or equal to high. This loop will only execute if the condition is getting satisfied. If the condition unsatisfies that means the element is not present inside the array and the execution will not go into the loop and it will directly return that the element is not present inside the array. Next I will compute the interpolation elements position with the help of the formula which is displayed on the screen. Now there might be a chance that this formula will give a strange position value which is not even present inside the array. Now to avoid such weird scenarios we will use an if condition which will check whether the interpolation elements position value is greater than or equal to low because low variable contains the smallest possible position which is present inside the array. And we will also check whether the interpolation elements position value is less than or equal to high because high is the largest possible position which is present inside the array. Now the next step is to compare the element which is located on the interpolation position with the element to be searched. Inside this if loop we will check whether they are equal. If they are equal then I have returned this that the element is found at index interpolation. Because the variable interpolation will contain the location of the element which is found. Now in the other case there might be a chance that the element which is located on the interpolation position is greater than the element to be searched. Now in such scenarios we need to set high as interpolation minus 1. Now there might be a third possibility that the element which is located on the interpolation position is lesser than the element to be searched. Now in that case we need to set the low position as interpolation plus 1. Make sure you are comparing the element to be searched with the element which is located on the interpolation position after checking whether the value of the interpolation variable is valid. Now if it is invalid that means the value of the interpolation elements position is not within the scope of the array that means the element is not present inside the array. So we will return from the function 
saying that the element not found. Now lastly, after executing the entire while loop, even after that we have not found out our element, we will straight away return that the element is not present inside the array. So this is how we write the entire code for the interpolation search algorithm. So to summarize, first we have declared the low and high variable which will contain the position of the first and last element respectively. Then inside the while loop we have computed the value of the position of the interpolation element. We have checked whether it is valid or not. If it is valid then we have compared the element to be searched with the element which is located at the interpolation position. If they are equal then we are returning the value of the interpolation position. And if the element located on the interpolation position is greater than the element to be searched, in that case we have set high as interpolation minus 1, otherwise we have set low as interpolation plus 1. Now here we have executed the entire code and we can see that the element 100 is found at index 3. Now let's change the value of the element to be found. Here we have declared an element which is not present inside the array, therefore we are getting the message that the element is not found inside the array. Therefore we can say that our code is working perfectly. You can find the entire code in the description box. Don't forget to post your queries and suggestions in the comment section. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.